Hey guys, today is July 30th, 2010, and it's about 11.20 in the morning. Today is Friday, today is payday, and what I wanted to do today is I wanted to do a little bit of a vlog that is different than what I usually do. If you've been watching the rest of my videos that I've been posting from the past year, two years, um, the main reason I've done the vlogs is because I wanted to share with friends, family, and other college um, friends who go to other colleges what I'm up to um, and what I was doing every weekend when I was at Becker College. And that was probably the main purpose of the vlogs. But today, since it's summer and I've got time off until 4 o'clock before I go in and fry some food at the village, I thought I'd do a different vlog and kind of reflect back on some life stuff um, daily life things, life in general, money, um, and things like that. And I just thought that today would be a great day to do it and that we could, you know, um, change things up a bit and, uh, not really focus in on me as much, but, uh, to reach out to you guys and maybe you can relate to me. I have work today at four. Um, today is Friday. I get paid every week on Friday. It's payday. Um, and I just thought I'd talk a little bit about money. I wasn't expecting to work 40 plus hours a week, six days a week. Um, and before I even start with this, I'm just going to say that none of this is edited. I just turned the camera on and, um, I wanted to vent a bit. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, but I get paid every Friday. I get, you know, quite a few hundred bucks. I'm making good money. Um, but as you know, I also purchased a car about a month ago and it's a V6 engine, which, you know, is still pretty good on gas, but it still sucks the gas tank, um, fairly quickly. And there are things like bills that need to be paid, like my car insurance and to go out and see Jess, I'm going to need gas money and do things like that. Um, and there are other small things that I need money for. Um, I buy some small things for the car. Sometimes I go out to eat. Uh, sometimes Jess and I get breakfast and Dunkin' Donuts, spend a little $10 there, here and there. Um, but for the most part, my money stays in the bank or it goes straight to my father to pay my bills. Um, but the one problem I really have is when I have money in my wallet, I want to spend it. And, uh, it doesn't matter what it is. I want to spend it. And for example, I get these things. I get the little, um, catalogs in the mail from Guitar Center. And I flip through and, uh, you know, I'll go to the drum section because, you know, I love drums a lot. And I'll flip through and there's some DJ stuff, um, keyboard stuff. You know, they've got, you know, anything that you could possibly want, software, etc. and so forth. Um, but things like this that bug me because they have deals, you know, the 46th anniversary celebration, and you flip to the front, um, ooh, it's dark in here. Hold on a second. You flip to the front and you get this little... This little card that says, oh, if you spend money, you get like $50 off on our special weekend from Friday, August 6th to the Sunday, August 8th. And then you get your little barcode on the back, and then they'll scan it for you, whatever. But, uh, it's things like this that, <laughs> that don't help. It really bugs me because it makes me want to go and say, well, what else could I use for my drums? Or what could I get, um, for my guitar, or, you know, do I want a new DJ light? It's really frustrating. And, uh, money with me, you know, it's been tough. It's always hard to just keep it in the bank. I'm just the type of guy who makes purchases, and, um, it doesn't matter what it will be on. I can find, you know, something to spend my money on if the money is in my wallet. And it's been really hard because... I always find something I want, and I don't know if you guys are like that also, where you just get your paycheck and you see, oh, I've got, you know, a lot of money here, a couple hundred dollars, what could I buy next? And I think it doesn't help today either that we live in a society where 
Americans want to spend the money, the dollar bill, all the time. It doesn't matter what it is, whether you want new clothes, whether you want a new drum set, whether you want something for your car, um, whether you want to go out to eat, it doesn't matter. There's always something that, for me at least, I can find I want to spend my money on. And it's tough now because I need to pay my car off, and um, I love my car to death. It's great. Everything's going smoothly. But... There are also times where I'm like, well, you know, I would like this for my drums. I would like some more cymbals and stands, or I'd really like to go to Bugaboo Creek this weekend with Jess, or let's go see a movie, or, you know, things like that. And I have made some stupid purchases, or I've wanted things, and I've purchased them, and then I look back and I go, well, this is stupid. Why did I buy this? I've used it a couple times, and I don't have an interest in it anymore. <clears throat> um, and a couple examples with that is, um, hold on, the lighting is really bad here today. I'm sitting on my bunk bed here. Um, give me a second. <clears throat> is, this, is this better? Let's see if this works. Um, alright. There have been times where I've purchased things that, I've looked back on and I've said, well, why did you, why did you spend the money on this? You know, you've used it two or three times and now you're done. Um, an example was I had some neighbors who played airsoft, and we had some people come in and uh, they had expensive hundred dollar guns, like several hundred dollars worth of upgrades, and uh, it looked all realistic, all real metal, or whatever. So Jared and I ended up purchasing, you know, some quality full metal airsoft guns. Um, and we spent over $300 each, or more than that, on our guns. And literally, out of the box, mine sucked. Um, it needed an upgrade, you know, just like everything else in life. You want to get something better. You want it to shoot farther. A little plastic BB. You want it to shoot farther. You have to pay more money. <clears throat> and I never got an upgrade. And to be honest with you, that gun, that $350 gun that was full metal, yeah, it looks great and, you know, stuff would shoot maybe 20 feet straight and then drop to the ground and uh, got used maybe in three or four games and I spent over three hundred dollars um, on it and now it collects dust in a bag um, another thing that I purchased was you know going back to the shooting things I had neighbors who played paintball paintball is in a very expensive sport you pay like forty dollars at the minimum for a box of two thousand paintballs then you gotta pay ten to fifteen bucks to fill your co2 tank and that will last you maybe a couple hours if that uh, you know I blew through a box of two thousand paintballs in a couple hours just you know being careless it's expensive stuff and that gun I bought a brand new barrel for it, and you know, a longer barrel for it. Still brand new. Has never had a paintball through it. Has never gotten used. And that gun's been used maybe two hours, and I bought that in 2008. I'm trying to sell my stuff. I'm trying to get rid of my paintball gun. It's brand new. I will let it go for half of what I paid. I don't even care. I've tried Craigslist. It's, it's not helpful at all. No one wants my stuff, and if they do, I get scammed every single time, um, I'm trying to get rid of my paintball, my airsoft stuff, I want to get rid of my mountain bike, um, I'll let it go cheap, you know, I need the money, and even though I work 40 plus hours a week, I don't have a lot of spending money, um, to do stuff with Jess, to go on dates, uh, to put towards recording, uh, material and supplies and gear, um, for, myself to record my music yes I have a lot of stuff yes I have a mixer yes I have a drum set an acoustic guitar a classical acoustic guitar an electric guitar and a ukulele that's another purchase that I wanted really bad and it's sitting on my wall can you see it there it is it's sitting on my wall that's where it stays it's just things like that where, you know, I've made some dumb purchases and it's unfortunate because I don't get to use them. We're hitting the 10 minute mark, so I'm going to pull this into part two. Um, please watch part two and thanks again for watching part one of this money vlog.